Okay, so this is Sunday's performance out at the Lost Dutchman's Rodeo in Apache Junction. Um, went with family members. Uh, there were several of us there, so I decided to go ahead and shoot from the stands uh, to, just to get a different perspective. I've had a lot of people email about how I edit, um, and if you don't have access to get into the arena and you're shooting from the stands, you know what can you do to make things a little bit better? So I thought we would go through a couple events real quick here and see what happens. All right, so I'm in uh, Lightroom. I'm on a Mac, and so obviously that's horrible. I'm trying to just get my settings right. I shoot manual, so I will set my camera up once and usually run with the same settings all day long unless there's a cloud buildup or whatever. And yes, that is snow in the background in Apache Junction. This is just east of Phoenix, Arizona. All right, beginning. There's our announcer. That is Kyle Tom up there. And there's another shot of the uh, fair that they have next to the rodeo grounds. And again, snow up on the superstitions. Rare to see that, folks. All right. And this is their uh, fallen gentlemen who have passed away from the uh, rodeo committee last year. They bring out a uh, horse. With, uh, with no one on it as a pay of respect. Comes out our queens. This is the presentation where the queens uh, hand off their crowns to next year's uh, queens. Kind of a cool thing here. And you'll find that when I edit, I'm looking specifically for certain shots that we would use for a magazine or an article. So, and everything looks is good here. Oh, there happens every now and then. You have someone's head pop in when you're shooting in the stands. And I'm using a, a 1DX uh, Mark One and a 70 to 200. So you can kind of see my settings right there. I'm about 130 two hundredth of a second at 28 at about 160 ISO. So let's get through these. Moving right along. Everyone's happy. All right, and there we go. <laughs> then the girls come out in the flags to show off all their sponsors. And I typically try to capture a few images of each girl as she passes by um, with their flag. However, as you can see, sometimes when you're in the stands, you don't get that luxury. Let's see here. Ooh, these. And here's our court. There we go. Looking good. There we are. Awesome. So, right there, that picture there I like. So, usually auto just kind of gives me a baseline of where I'm at for this picture. Obviously, her face is to come up, and I shot JPEG. I usually shoot in daytime uh, JPEG. If it's at night, I will switch to RAW. So I'm going to bring exposure up a little bit, almost about there. I try not to go over one stop of light in JPEG, and I like to increase my contrast just a little bit. Come down, see if I can increase shadows. Her face is a little better there. Add some more whites to it just a bit. Let's see if I can't enhance that. Yep, she's just in shadow. Clarity a bump. Like that. Don't need to dehaze or anything. Let's come down here and go with a little sharpness. And then there's no reason for noise reduction at 160 ISO. And then just see if there's any. Boom. There we go. Sweet. All right. So that image, and then I will obviously pick that and flag it. And move on. So this was our, uh, I think this was Tyrek. And again, from the stands at a 200 millimeter um, and a full frame, you kind of get the feel why a lot of these guys have, like I shoot with a, a 300 and sometimes even a 500 millimeter lens just to get the, the feel, the frame with the action. Here comes another. So in this situation, I would then zoom in. 
Let's see if I got another one in here. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? How about this one right here? Let's see how that one looks. So that one, he's coming towards us. I wish I was, you know, at say 500 millimeters on this one. Let's see if he goes any closer. Or if that horse just turns a little bit sideways. What do we have right there? Our eyes are open. That horse's head is down. But other than that, he's in a downward position. Let's see. Oh, oh. I think that one might be a good one. Let's check it. There we go. All right. So most people was like, yeah, yeah I got the image. Nope. I'm going to real quick edit that. Let's go ahead and I'll, uh, because of social media, I normally crop everything to a square. And I try to come in and just get the cowboy as much as I can. Like that. And then, you know, the rules of thirds. Put him right there. So let's go into here now. Let's open that up a little more. A little bit more light. Let's go about right there. Give it some contrast. I like the way contrast looks on my subjects. Bring those highlights back down. Give it a little clarity. Let's see, just put our DAs. If that will help us any. Just a tiny bit right there. And do a little bit of sharpening on that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Got all that dirt coming up. That's cool. Now that rear end. Awesome. So for me, oh, cool tattoo. All right. I like that. I might come back up just a little bit on my shadows. Nope, not good. Not that. Bring that down. I think that's a game winner. Let's keep that one. Let's keep going. Let's see. What is that? There's another one right there. Zoom in, let's see, his head's kind of back a little bit, get our baseline, we'll come in here, make that into a square, and right there, bring this in, good, 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 that way the whole attention is right on what's going on, this cowboy, yeah, right there, that way it's just him, there we are. Lighten that up a little bit. Let's bring in that contrast. About even. A little bit of clarity. There we go. Let's come down and a little bit of sharpening. You know, we didn't do it in the last one was any of that uh, correction profile. Oops. Yep. I like that. I like that one too. So we'll pick it and we'll keep going. Whoa. What do we got? Is he about to bite the dust on this one? Hold on, cowboy. Oh, let's see here. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that horse's position. Let's see what else happens here. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool, too. Check that out. That horse is up on all fours. Woohoo! All right, let's see where we're at. Let's go back. This one. That's a tough one. I think I like this one a little bit better. Oh, you know what? Wait. Nope, that one. Those hind legs are up. So back to here. Let's auto. Let's square this up. As you can tell, we're pretty straight even. Actually, no, we're not. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's right, bring this down. Bring it nice and close. The top of his head and the back of those feet. And again, we're going to increase our exposure. A bit too much there. Increase our contrast. 
those highlights and do our clarity. A little bit of sharpening. That looks like and runs corruption. Boom. You know what? We chopped his arm off, didn't we? Yes, we did. Let's see here. That. There we go. And let's just see what's on this other side here. And I'll hit that one right there. Kind of right there. Bam. Sweet. Yep. All right. Let's kick in that. We'll pick that one. Run through the rest of these. Oh. A little cool shot right there. I'm getting ready to. Does not look too happy, does he? Let's do this one as well. Like that. Let's see what else. Getting that together. Oh, oh, ah. One to one. And bring that in. Bring that in. Not like that. I'm going to increase that just a little bit. Got some good light on him. There we go, a little bit of clarity in that, and a little bit of sharpening, and correction, bam, that's another good one right there, all right, let's keep this going, that was a good ride, cowboy, Kind of give a shield to everybody uh, in the arena. I kind of went right around in a circle. Another good one. Yep. Let's see here. What else we got? Oh, and now his ride is over. Get his hand free. See, he's coming around here. They did almost make a complete circle around this arena. So now I'm going to get a close up of his face here in a minute. See if I can't get that. Let's see, where's that best one? I know. Right, so he's hunched over here. It's so about right there. Let's see. You know what? I think this one right here with that Wrangler sign. Let's see if we can't play with this a little bit. So let's come in here. Let's kind of square this up. Let's get it right. Bring in this. And then bring that up so we don't see that bar. And what I'm after is the people in the stands behind him that are nicely blurred out. His face. So we can just a little bit more. There we go. All right, so let's get us a baseline. Open him up a little bit. Too much on that face. A little bit of clarity. There we go. I'm gonna pull just a little bit of that. Let's see where we can go with this. There we go. Let's see here. Cool, 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 cool. A little shopping and boom that's kind of cool uh more of a lifestyle type thing let's bring it in uh see the bar right there so it's just a little tighter and over there we go right there boom we have wrangler in the background we have him right there and i believe his name is tyrick let me see real quick here I always make sure I get a daily sheet so I know who we're dealing with here. Um, yep, Tyrick Wilson. Sweet, and I believe he won. Um, I shot Friday as well, and he he did an amazing had an amazing ride on Friday as well. All right, so let's pick that one. Let's keep this going. Well, that's right. He went for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here we come with another one.
go. Let's go back out. Let's see if we can't find us a. About right there. And it's a little soft, but let's just play with it. Let's see what we can come up with. Square it up. We we'll love that snow in the background in Arizona, especially Phoenix. I know up north, um, we get snow in Flagstaff and where I'm from, Pine Top, Lakeside. And let's see how we went. Not too bad. I love all the dirt right there. Let's open up that little bit there. Contrast. People always ask, why is it that in Bulls and Bronx, um, the people behind the shoot um, are in focus as well and like other pictures where you see the background just completely blurred out which is what I love it's just because depth of field in photography we know that your f-stop uh, your aperture um, and then of course your compression of how big of a lens compresses an image and then you have how close the background is to your subject so it's just a it just happens you just learn to to live with it unless you shoot from the side uh, but then if you shoot from the side you have the possibility of having a really background that's too busy or just not pleasing to the eye. So we have this cowboy there. Let's do a little bit of clarity on him. And some sharpening. Profile correction. Kind of cool. All right, let's keep that one. All right, and moving along. Oh. Let's see which one. It's going to be like a movie. Whoa, whoa. Um, let's see. Oh, and back one. Well, he's struggling there. Now his face is more in shadow. So let me take this one. And same thing. Start a baseline with this. Come in and square this up a little. What we're going to do, let's don't square it up. Let's square it up, but let's keep it not so tight. So we can get kind of the mountains in the background. We get some of the sponsors uh, in that. And light it up just a bit. Contrast it down. A little bit of clarity in there. I like that. Shows the mountain with that snow. Let's give it a little bit of sharpening. No noise reduction needed. Just a little bit on there because we're not so zoomed in. Pick it. See whatever else we got here. And let's see. Oh. oh, he's holding on. And down he comes right there. That looks. He's holding on tight. <laughs> Goodness, teeth. And it was muddy there on Friday. It rained like cats and dogs all weekend. And then Saturday it started to dry out. And on Sunday it was a really beautiful day. A little bit breezy, but um, not too bad. And let's see if we get a... He's holding on. A little bit soft there. From the stands. Lost his hat after all that. Alright, I think this is what I next go. Let's see what we got here. That's it. There's a head in our way. <laughs> There we go. All right, cool. What do we got here? All right, so far, so good. See, the closer he gets to me and the further away he gets from the background, that's when you start to get that, that soft blur. Piece of dirt right there. I actually swiped my computer screen going, wait, 
but it's in the picture. Let's see what we get here. Oh, that's not a good one. That's a look. Thank you, people. You should be sitting. It's rodeo time. Ah, this was a lady sitting in front of us with an iPad. Uh, oh, my goodness. I, yeah, I feel your frustration, guys. You, you can't shoot the arena floor. All right, so let's go back here. We saw his ride. Let's see what that looks like. You know what? So, in a shot like this, I, I like it for the emotion. So let's go to baseline. Let's zoom in on this guy. Again, back to a square. And let's go tight. We're gonna go really, really tight on this. Let's see how we do. So the, the 1D um, X uh, first gen mark one, 18 megapixels. So and again, these this picture won't be printed, so it's just for screen use. So I bet you it's gonna look pretty good there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. You know what? We can even let's see if we can just a little bit tighter. Let's go up this way a little bit better too. There we go. Let's see. There we go. We got his boot right there. We've got his chaps flying. All right. So open up just a little bit, and then look at the contrast. Got like that. You know, we're going to give him just a take off that white. Let's bring that down, and then a little bit of black, just to get those a little bit richer colors. Trousers, there we go, right in there. And you can tell he's a little bit of red in his skin. So let's see if we can't pull that down a little. Sweet, all right. And let's do some sharpening. Let's get close. Boom. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's pick that one. All right. Sweet. Okay, so let's go back through. Let's see who our next writer is. And did we catch him getting bucked off? No. But he's real close right there. All right. I think this was a buckle presentation. And that was for uh, Wilson. I believe he won that. He did, yep. Let's see if we got a good one here. Let's do this one right here. About pretty much the same. The one thing about the 1GX, it shoots 12 frames a second, and you just sometimes lose <laughs> machine gun at times. Let's put in here. And if I'm shooting for a, a magazine or something in which I'm not selling my images to uh, to the contestants, then I will uh, usually send this off to uh, for free to the guys just to have. Let's do that. Let's uh, bring those shadows a little bit. It's a little too much and some clarity. I like that. I like that for what it is. Yep. Awesome. All right, so we'll pick that one as well. All right, so that's from the stands for Bearback. There's a shotgun Nate doing his thing. And then this, I believe, was went to... Yep, all right. You know what? Since they only had a few of these guys, we'll go ahead and take the uh, Bearback and the um, Steer Wrestling in one here. And again, where I was sitting, I was on the left side by the uh, by the shoot gate right there, so I'm not in the best spot as you can see here. The cowboy is jumping off. Nothing I can do. You know, I I spent the first half of the rodeo with family, um, mother-in-law and father-in-law were there, um, sister-in-law was there, and of course I was there with my beautiful genie, and kind of get an idea there, and how muddy it is. That's still from from Friday. He's already got mud on us. Yep. <laughs> Let's see here. And he spins that calf around. And down he goes into the mud. Uh, let's see. 
a shot of him. Yep. He don't look too happy. And he don't look too pretty, but... Let's pull it up. <laughs> I like that. Wait a minute. Let's see. Where are we at here? Wait. He's, he's pushing him away. Right there. Let's see that with that hand, how that looks on that horn. Yeah, okay. So... Jump up. Right there. So the illusion is that it looks like his hand's getting ready to get hit, which it's not. But let's work with that for this shot. So again, back to our baseline. And let's square this up. And tight, tight, tight on that. And then we'll tighten him up over here a little bit more. Tighter over here. You know, we can probably even, if we wanted to, yeah, like that. There's our shot. Let's uh, open that up just a tiny bit. That is so cool. He's wearing his sunglasses, all muddy. That <laughs> poor guy's felt. Let's see if we can. Uh, there, it looks good. A little bit of clarity on that. Nice, nice, nice. And a little bit of sharpening. And again, I know I can preset this when I import um, or, or do a sync, but for me, part of it is sitting here and enjoying this. So let's pick that one. Let's see what else we got here. Man, muddy. There's Mr. Nate. All right, here comes the next one. In and out. Oh, here we go. We got this. And it looks like he's going to be short. Oh, there he is. He's getting... Yeah. How close can you get before... See, it just not in the right position. I'd rather have been down the length so I'm shooting directly on to them as they come up. So let's go back to here. About right. Here, maybe. Let's see what we got. Focuses more on the, the steer's head than his face. Let's just go back one. I think that's kind of cool with all the splash. It's a bit more in focus. All right, so let's use this one. So, again, let's do that. We'll come in. So this one, I'm wondering if we should go 8 by 10 Bring it up. And again, I'm, I'm thinking social media. Um, so a four by six aspect ratio um, is hard, in my opinion, for especially like um, Instagram, which tends to be where more people seem to hang out right now. So as an eight by 10, it's a, it's a better crop for Instagram. And so let's bring that up a little bit. Let's add some contrast to this. For the clarity, and of course, his face is partially in shade, so let's just uh, desaturate just a bit on his face. There we go, and a little bit more sharpening there. That's not too bad. We gotta get the horse. Let's see if we can't square him up. Uh, You know what we might do is we might just take out this other horse here. There we go. There's your action right there. And usually with JPEG outside. You know what? Let's just try this. I don't have to be too cool. Even though it was a cold day, I like that warmth. It's like um, as a film shooter, I prefer Kodak. This Kodak has a more of a warm feel to it, where Fuji um, has more of a cool blue tint to their stuff. All right, sweet. Let's grab that one. And again, now that, that right here, see how his feet are up? That would be um, where I would want this shot. One of my shots from this ride is right there, but again, going the other direction. 
And then he's in the mud. Got to bring that steer down. And I have lots of people on Facebook and social media who, when they watch or look at my rodeo pictures, they're animal rights folks. And, you know, the rodeoing, you have to understand that a steer skin is a little over a quarter inch thick. So what's happening right here, that steer doesn't, this is not hurting him at all. This is just, to him, it's another roll in the mud. Speaking of mud. All right, let's see here. Out the gate. And I've, I've shot this guy. I can't recall his name off the top of my head, but I've shot him several times in the last couple months. And again, I think this was, yeah, that was a no time. So let's see what we got here. We have something here. That. Well, again, yeah, let's see what we got. Yeah, I didn't think so. Unless we have something right in here, which you can tell on this day we took 4,200 photos. So uh, by the end of the day, I remember highlights of of events and rides, but, um, but, um, the, the actual sequence of events or, or how people turned out uh, overall for everybody. I don't remember those. And he's up. Let's see how muddy he is. And then I believe this is must have been tied. Breakaway roping, yeah. So you get a little bit of broke breakaway roping as well in this video. There we go. Let's see. She is getting it. I love that. All right, so I know there's not. I just want to see if that rope's above her head again. It's not too distracting. Too busy. Let's see here. Oh, that's kind of cool. She looped. Went above her head there. So, like this shot here, I would keep it as a 4 by 6 aspect ratio. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's open it up a little bit here. And get some contrast. I like that one. We may go back to, and again, I love that shot right, right there is probably the best. That split second before it actually happens. Bring it up and around his neck. Okay, let's see about this cowgirl here. Out she comes. Let's see what she does here. What I'm looking for, here we go, here we go. Let's zoom in. Let's see if I have one more. this. So let's zoom in again. Let's go back to our square. And I'm, I'm, I'm after a look. Like I said, when I edit, I'm editing for either an assignment that I'm working on or, or I'm looking at uh, an image that is sellable. Again, I don't usually shoot um, to sell to performers. Um, so I'm, I'm looking for editorial type pieces. Might even go a little tighter on that. Put her bum right there in that corner. And that's 
move that up. And then contrast. And again, with her hat shading her face, that's just going here a little bit. Let's just see. Too much there. And um, desaturate a little bit of that red. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, back here, and let's do a bit of sharpening. And no noise reduction is necessary. Lens correction. Sweet. I like that. That, you know, in her intensity, she's looking. Let's see what else we got here. And move her up. And, oh. <laughs> Love shooting at the stands. Love shooting up in the stands. She chased him down. She lost her hat somewhere along the way. All right. Let's see who we got here. All right. Uh, this was the girl, I think, that won it. Her time was like two seconds. It was incredible. Let's see here. So we have the most emotion in her, in her face. Let's see here, where are we at? I didn't catch her getting out of the box. And I think she's a little too... right there kind of shows the muscle and everything all right so let's go back to here let's kind of square her up a little bit and again we're, we're gonna go after um, emotion and that's kind of what I was looking for shooting at the uh, Lost Dutchman rodeo it's kind of going tight on her just a little bit more, maybe. Let's see what we got here. And then, her eyes. Yeah, a little soft. Let's go like that. A little bit there. Just there. Yeah, a little bit blocked. Let's see. No, no, too much. Let's open this up just a tiny bit more. That's, that gentleman there in the back in the red, if he was sitting, um, that would have been an awesome shot to see all the spectators behind them. So let's go like this. Let's see. Her horse now. Let's take that one. And that was a good ride, coverall. Good ride. And who we have up next? That horse breaking that barrier. And she's coming. Let's see what this looks like right there. Oh, Sports Center. Let's see. Um, yep. <laughs> Yankee update. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's cool. There's that overhead. I like. There we go. And we have someone coming in. Look at that intensity on her face. Love, love, love. And again, this is a shot that I normally would shoot. Um, kind of about middle of the arena shooting in and go from there. Okay, so let's zoom in on her. And again, let's kind of see what we got here. Oh, you know what, let's square that. And bring that down. And let's just see. 
that intensity again is what I'm after. That cowgirl, she's into it. There we go. Get rid of too much of that red. Let's see if we can pull a little of that red out. And counterbalance it. There we go. And a little bit of clarity. I think that's a little bit of black that hat. And I'm going to pull off a little bit more of that red. I know her, sh her shirt has some red in it, so I want to be careful. Of course, we're zoomed in. That's a little soft, but that's okay. Sharpen up a little bit. And bam. I like it. All right, let's keep going. And did she get any? Nope. Oh. Uh, She did not, and it, oh, what happened, what's going on here? I must have set my camera down in between events. Oh yes, I was moving to uh, to a different location. I actually went onto the uh, arena floor, and I noticed the plane, look at that. You get a bonus, you get some airplane stuff today. That is cool, I remember hearing the plane going, wait a minute. And what were my settings at? Um, yeah, because I was shooting directly up. Same settings as before. But that's kind of cool. That is wicked cool. And clarity. There you go. Any highlights you can do? Yeah, All right, well, you get a bonus time of uh, some airplane stuff. And the next thing I want to do is uh, saddle bronc, but that will be our uh, next video. We'll be back.